guys. Guys, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Eat with me. I am eating on my bed. <laughs> Some people hate this. I am eating Sunday rice and stew. Stop echoing what I'm saying, madam. <laughs> Today's topic is self-defense. Defending yourself and standing. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Mm. Defending yourself and standing for yourself. Standing up for yourself. Jenna, are you listening? You have to be your biggest advocate. You have to defend yourself. The thing about trauma, and if you've experienced trauma, is... Sometimes, you get so carried away with, like, your situation. Sometimes you believe that you, you deserve maltreatment half the time the people who are mean and who maltreat you are banking on the fact that you're not going to defend yourself they are banking on that fact but if you shock them and you stand up for yourself florette what do you Jean? happy sunday Today is Sunday self-love day. Stand up for yourself is the, is the topic for today and for the new week. I'm going to give you three scenarios in which I stand, I stood up for myself. I didn't wait for anybody. I mean, of course, with the help of God, but you need to stand up for yourself. Be your best advocate. Be your own solicitor. You need to be your own attorney. You need to stand up for yourself. I used to model back in the day, you know, the gigs, I'll get $300 here and there. I was modeling at the Native and Vogue Fashion Week. I think I told you guys this story before. Reduce the volume. I was modeling for the Native and Vogue Fashion Week and there was this model there who was like a top model. In the modeling industry, there's a lot of like there's a lot of very bad animosity. It's almost like the industry is plagued with all these people who believe that they are the beginning and the end of the fashion industry. It's just a lot of ego, right? This model, I can't remember her name. Um, I was modeling backstage and I remember the MC Uti had told all the models who modeled on this runway, come outside for recognition. I modeled on the runway, but I wasn't wearing any designer's clothes. I was wearing my own private clothes. But I heard that announcement, and so I headed to the runway, and I was about to go on the runway for recognition to all the models who were supposed to come out and take a bow and then go back. As I was about to climb on the runway, this other model, who people had been respecting in the fashion show, I've never met her before, but people were, you know, kind of, you know when you're around people and everyone is kind of like saying, according some respect to a person so you kind of know that this person has probably been in the game for longer i was about to go on the runway and this model yanked me by my by my dress like this back get out of there and she just walked in front of me and i was shocked i was like what kathy meadows thank you for 200 stars this is one of the public things that happen story time I was shocked when she was coming back from walking the ramp. I asked her, why did you do that to me? She said, come here, come here, come here. She started dragging me. Come here, like, come, come, come. So you're about to walk on the, on the runway without a designer's outfit. You're about to, I said, why are you dragging me up and down? And I gave this girl the slap of her life. I slapped her so hard, eh? Because she yanked me. And then when I wanted to ask her, what is going on? Why are you yanking me? Why? You? She started grabbing me by my dress again. My dress was a short dress, so if you grab the top, my entire butt is exposed. She started dragging me again. I, I gave her a slap, eh? She will never forget in her life. Everybody started saying, Ha! You slapped her? She's the biggest model. Da, da, da. She is the. I'm like, She yanked me. No one is talking about how she yanked me. She yanked me two times. I asked her, I wanted to ask her peacefully, Why did you? 
why did you yank me? The next thing she said is, I'm going to report you. I'm good. This is not someone who walks in the runway. She does not work for the fashion show. She was just, you know, all these um, local queen mother of the, of the modeling scene. Anyway, after I slapped her face, I told her, don't you ever touch me again. And she, she swore that I will never walk any runway show again in my life. She promises me that. She bank on it. This is the last show I will ever walk. This is the day. I'm talking to you about self-defense. When we got to the after party, I realized that the reason why she picked on me was because one of the international models liked me and he was trying to invite me to his after party. I got to the after party and she was there. She was looking at me like this. The organizers made her apologize to me, even after I slapped her. Because I told them she yanked me off of the runway. And when I tried to ask her why did she do that, she grabbed me by my dress again. So they said, you you have to apologize to her. She slapped me. She did it. And the thing about her is she kept on screaming. She couldn't, like, compose herself and talk. She would always be screaming. She apologized to me. I went to the after party. I was sitting in the VIP with all the invited models. I remember all the international models that showed up that year. She promised me that I will not walk any fashion show again. The very next year, the same fashion show, Native and Vogue fashion show, I was called again to walk the runway and she was there. She borrowed my shoe because my shoe was the shoe that she needed for a designer's dress. I gave her my shoe. I'm like, yeah, here you go. Here's my shoe. You can go ahead. Sonia, it is well. Thank you for 500 stars. Bye. By the way, guys, I'm not getting on in-stream ads on Facebook. So if you know you want to love and support me, it's only through stars. And also, you can also send super thanks and, you know, follow my top gifters on TikTok. I love you. This is just to tell you to stand up for yourself. Nobody will stand up for you. I'm not saying pick a fight with everybody, but don't sit around and be a punching bag. On this Facebook app, on this YouTube app, there was a group of idiotic old cargoes, some old, dejected, miserable souls who dedicated their lives. They still dedicate their lives to trying to make my life a living hell. By the time I started to stand up for myself, you guys would take my videos for my page and you are monetizing the videos. Instead of you to even say, let me just be nice to this girl I'm making money from, you will be bastardizing me on your page. Phyllis Zims, thank you so much for 5,000 stars. Appreciate you. Once my rights manager kicked in and I started to stand up for myself, monetizing your video, if you use my video, it's my video and it's going to be monetized by me on my page. A lot of them started shouting, you idiots, Ifunanya, you take my video, I, you, I wish you RIP, I wish you this. But I had to stand up for myself. And now on the blue app, at least the number of people who steal my content have reduced. They've realized, yes, my rights manager is working. And if you steal my video, it's going to be monetized, but on my own page. Stand up for yourself. Most of the time, bullies are own Philly Zims. I love you so much. Thank you for 5,000 stars. You make my life so beautiful. Thank you. Most of the people who are bullies, they bank on the fact that you will not defend yourself. Hey, no problem. Thank you so much for being the number one gifter on TikTok. Kindly follow No Problem on TikTok. Follow my top gifters, okay? Like their pages. They bank on the fact that you're going to just accept the, the insult, accept the thing. Now, another thing I've learned from America living here is every sort of discrimination that is placed against you here is always dependent on your reaction to it. If you're a black person here and someone is discriminated to, discriminatory to you and you don't call it out, you just accept it like... That's why I get so upset when black people say, yeah, you're in this, you're disadvantaged. This place is disadvantaged. Mm -mm. Fight for yourself. Be your own advocate. Fight for yourself. Bullies bank on the fact that you are not going to do anything. You're just going to accept their humiliation. Imagine a bully comes to you. 
does their normal thing that they do to everybody and they get away with it. They come to you and they do it and you pick up a chair and whack them on their head. Do you think, do you think that they are going to continue doing that? Even if you are a small baby, but you pick up that heavy chair and you whack them on their head. At least the next time when they want to do it, they will think back. This one, or be like, say this one, they touch. <laughs> Make I go find another victim. Be your own advocate. Stand up for yourself. Nobody's going to come and save you. There's nobody that will come and save you. You have to save yourself. In this new week, going into this new week, I want you to go into this new week with that mindset. Go into this new week with the mindset of being your own advocate. Masia, I love you. Thank you for being a top gifter on TikTok. Kindly follow Masia. Marie, thank you so much for 500 stars. Love you. Hello. Be your own advocate. In this, my social media journey, I'm being a public figure. There are several times that many people have come, set ring lights, and they've tried to defame me. I will come out and I will use my own platform that is bigger, and I will rectify and debunk the nonsense. Be your own advocate. The truth is, nobody, no media house, no media this, no management, no management company, no do, 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 is going to save you. You will stand up and you save yourself. Joyful Shri, thank you for two super thanks. Love you so much. Do the one that you can do before you start looking for someone to save you. Do the one that you can do before you start looking for someone to save you. You know that I love you. You know that I will always come and tell you the truth. No man has your destiny in their hands. You are the author and the finisher of your faith. And you and God are the only two people that should be relating. Bernie Chichi, thank you so much for the roses and for the TikTok hat. Kindly follow Bernie Chichi. Follow my top gifters. Like and like their pages. Follow my top gifters and my top star senders. Everybody you see sending me stars. Show them some love. Follow them. They don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> what are you doing? In every situation of you being bullied, in my own ex-marriage, I used to be very abused. I devised my own strategy. Be your own advocate and exit every place that is not <laughs> nasty. <laughs> I love you, my own and Kim. <laughs> that will be our inside joke. Athena. You know, send me an idea I for life. She know they will be a punch. They don't come my life now. You can't tell me why. Be your own advocate and be your own superhero. Be your own advocate. June, what did I say? Be your own advocate. Say advocate. Advocate. Fight for yourself. Advocate. Good. Are you going to fight for yourself? No. Eh? No. Are you going to fight for yourself? No. Say yes. Yeah. Good. Fight for yourself. Nobody will fight for you. Nobody will fight for you in this Nobody life. Athena, leave it. Don't worry, I'll flush. Leave it. When they come and try to destroy you, 
When they try to say horrible things about you, your voice matters. Speak up for yourself. Before you are looking for a friend to speak up for you, before you are looking for your colleague to speak up for you at work, open your own mouth and defend yourself. Be your own best friend, your own advocate. Francisca Ogola, thank you so much for 6,000 stars. Oh my gosh. Francisca, I love you. Thank you so much. Francisca Ogola. Desiree Robertson, thank you so much for 49.99. Super thanks. I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you. I am your own. I am going to tell you for a fact nobody knows you better than you know yourself you have to live with yourself every day cecilia, cecilia love thank you for a thousand stars appreciate you francisca ogola i love you thank you hmm? fight for yourself i'm sorry we cannot give you this because why i need to know why tell me why if you tell me about ah, Jesus, in Popola, aka Uncle Osho, nine ninety nine. I love you, my queen. Thank you for hundred super thanks. Hey, who the check Who the zuzu? I love you, my queen. Thank you so much. Ah, I love you. If I was not my own advocate by now, the whole country, they, some of them think that I'm an Ashevo. They think that I do Olosho. <laughs> because of all the smear campaign that has been going on since my divorce. But every time I set my ring lights, I come outside and I say my truth on my platform. And people who have sense will listen, digest. The ones who want to believe, no problem. The ones who don't want to believe, no problem. I always advocate for myself. Before I go and pay any lawyer, before I go and pay anybody, I am my number one advocate. I am my biggest fan. I am my number one advocate. I am my number one hero. I am God. God saved me to save myself. I know what I can take. I know my capabilities. I know my limitations. I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. I know what is good for me. I know what works well with me. I know the one that I will drink that will make me sleep. I don't the one that I will drink that will ginger me. I know myself more than anybody else. You should be your own advocate. Chineke. Miss Busy, thank you for 20 super thanks. Appreciate you, my queen. I have never seen you before. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. If you've not gotten anything from me since you've been following me since 2000 or what, know today that if you don't stand up for yourself, you can't be a Korean. Koreans stand up for themselves. And when they look and dissect the situation and analyze what is going on around them, they take their time. They think they, oh, they think and they make sure that they make room for themselves to escape any funny situation. You have to stand up for yourself or else you are not a Korean. No? You, are, you, are another, <laughs> you are not a Korean. You have to stand up for yourself. If I didn't stand up for myself by now, I would have been a write-off. I would have been a complete write-off in society. With the way things were going, with the way things were going in my life, I would have been a complete write-off. Nobody would want to be associated with me because that was the game plan. To tarnish my image, to destroy my reputation, and to make me unmarketable and monetizable. This, the entire MO, the entire agenda and strategy was to make me completely gone. If I didn't stand up, wake up and stand up for myself, turn the attention from the press into money, by now I will be homeless or probably living in some rented place, still begging and still wassing and still looking for work. I still was every day though, because I love to was. That's my natural calling. But I'm just telling you, 
I'm just telling you that if you don't stand up for yourself, nobody will stand up for you. God has got your back. All you have to do is stand. He will stand by you. All you have to do is stand. He will stand by you. He will stand by you. He will stand by you. I promise you, he's not... He's not idle. He's just waiting for you to take action. He will stand by you. I promise you. Stand up for yourself. That situation that you're going through that you can't even open your mouth and tell somebody to your right. Tell somebody to your left. This is what I'm going through. This is what I'm going through. You can't talk. Open your mouth and talk. To, talk it to yourself. If you can't open up to anybody, at least admit it to yourself. God, I can't continue like this. Help me. I'm going to take this action wow. to change my situation. And I need your help. God, help me. Stand up for yourself. Jacqueline Sonson, thank you so much for 199 Super. There are some things you'll be going through in life that you can't even explain to somebody. How do you explain to somebody that you are being molested? How do you explain to somebody that, hey, this person that is supposed to be my husband is abusing me verbally and physically every other day? How do you explain to the whole world that thinks that your marriage is perfect, that this is what's going on behind closed doors? How do you explain to your friend that your lecturer is trying to do something funny with you? How do you explain? If you can't explain to your friend, explain to yourself and stand up for yourself. Agree to disagree. Thank you so much for 3,000 stars. I love you and I appreciate you. You are your own advocate. Whenever something is doing you in your body, you can't feel it. I'm having a headache. It's a headache. It's my, it's my head. I can feel it. My stomach is upset. Oh, God. It's my stomach. I can feel it. Nobody can feel it for you. So nobody can help you. Every This life now, per head, per head. Standing from George. Thank you so much. Kindly follow Standing from George, my top, my top gifter on TikTok. Follow my top gifters. Like everybody that is liking and sending me super thanks. Go and follow their pages. Like up, like up this live. And follow my top gifters and my so top super thankers. Subscribe and show them some love, please. It's only one click away. Just show them love. Thank you so much. I love you. Ah, For the money gone, I love you guys. Please, stand up for yourself. Standing from George, God bless you for top gifters. Thank you to all my star senders. Love you. Follow all my star senders, please. Like their page. Like their page. Comment on their page. Give them engagement. And if Popola, aka Olosho999, I love you, my queen. Thank you so much for 100 super thanks. That's a queen right there. My Sia Walker Nielsen, thank you for a thousand stars. Anne Campbell, thank you for a hundred stars. You don't stand up for yourself. No matter how anybody loves you, they can't stand up for you like that. There are many people who are advocates. Okay, very, very dark man. I will report to very dark man. Stand up for yourself. You should be your own advocate. Before anybody thought that I could dance or anybody thought I could sing anything or rap anything, do you think I didn't know inside my head that I knew how to do these things? How would any of you be calling me the singing dancing princess from the motherland if I didn't call myself that? If I didn't start saying that. Even Nigeria, they refused to take up the narrative that I was doing music. Even after 20 music videos, they'll still call me the dancer, Kora Obidi. I had to start. I am the singing dancing princess from the motherland. 20 music videos after, and they started to call me that. But I had to be my own advocate, my own biggest fan, my own cheerleader. I had to stand up for myself. If I can stand up for myself, me, who am I? Why can't you stand up for yourself? What is stopping you from being your own advocate? Why are you afraid of being your own advocate? Who told you that it's not cool to be your own biggest fan? Who told you that it's not cool to be your own advocate? Who told you that? With everybody saying all sorts of mean things about me after being brainwashed by a narcissistic, obsessed ex, saying I staged my own attack in the UK, saying I cheated five months pregnant with my daughters, and everybody saying all sorts of horrible things. If I did not use my own voice to tell you guys, hey, 
This is the real deal. This is a cyber molester who is trying to get clout. Will anybody know? Will anybody know? You have to stand up for yourself. Nobody would stand up for you if you don't stand up for yourself. <laughs> and guess what? It's not cute. It's not cute to be abused. It's not cute to be mute. Damn. It's not cute to be mute. What? Patented by Cora. It's not cute to be mute. Who said it was cute to be chopping abuse morning, afternoon, night? Who said it was cute? Who said it was modest? Who lied to you? That's a lie. It's never cute to be abused. abused. Stand up for yourself. Be your own advocate. Be your own solicitor. Be your own attorney. Before anybody can stand up for you, you have to stand up for yourself. Yvette Kangal, thank you so much for 50 stars. Close your eyes and pray. You didn't appear on this earth by yourself. God created you. Connect with your creator and find your purpose. Stand for yourself. Stand from joy. Thank you for 300 stars. That's my word for Sunday. You know me, I always bring you something. I'm sorry you came late. This is 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon. But this was brewing in my spirit. I said I had to share it. Kamali, thank you. Emma, thank you for 50 stars. Sophie Wood, thank you for 0 0.99. Betty Black Kim Tingling. <laughs> Betty Black Kim Tingling. Tingling, Tingling, Rosa Betsy Black with a tingalingaling. Tingalingaling. What's the thing? Eh, my God, I got I. Betsy Black tingling. Thank you so much for 5,000 stars. Stand up for yourself. Thank you for 500 stars. <laughs> June, what do you want to be when you grow up? Please don't tell me you want to be a single. Don't tell me you want to be an entertainer like mommy, please. I want to be a singer. Hey, well, Jesus is Lord. God forbid. <laughs> it's not a fun, it's not a, it's not a sweet road, though. It looks, it looks glamorous, but it is not. It's not glamorous. I want a peaceful life for you, not the one that people will be so obsessed that I want to come and attack you with acid. My love, you are too beautiful. You will not do that one. Betty Black, thank you so much for a thousand stars. Please, my love, you change your mind, eh? I hope you change your mind. You hope I change my mind? Yes, please. I won't. I never change my mind. So, what do you want to be? A singer. You want to be a singer? Sing a song. Let me hear. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. My love. My love, you will eventually change your mind. Eh? This this work where we they do, no easy. I didn't change my mind. You go change them, mom. You go change them. I don't want to change it ever. Because to see this online, I just make a room. Have you, but you love space. Don't you like space? Don't you like space? You used to talk about the planets. You can be an astronaut. <laughs> I don't want to. I want to be a singer. Hey, whoa, God forbid. <laughs> mm, my block, you know what I'm doing right now, my love. I'm blocking people. Why? This is going to be your daily job if you want to be a singer. <laughs> I'm afraid I can sing lots of songs. 
Yeah, you sing, but then it comes with a lot of hate and crazy people. Yeah. Yes, and to protect yourself, you will block and block every day. You use that thing. When I block and block, mm -hmm. I won't block anything. You won't? No. Maybe you'll be better than mommy. I'm better than you. Yes, you'll be better than me in Jesus' name. Amen. And Betty is better and better and Betty Black. Betty Black. Timberland. Thank you Betty for 150 Black. stars. Betty Black. Betty Black. Be your Black. own. June, if you want to be a singer, you have to be your own advocate. Are you going to allow anybody bully you? Say it. Uh, vocalize it. <laughs> Why don't you want to say it out loud? You can't let anyone bully you. You have to be your own solicitor. You can't let anyone take your brand and defame you and go scot free. You have to be your. Okay. Yeah. Mimi solo. Mimi solo. What is that? Mimi Sola. Mimi Yes. With these few points of mine, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that it should be your own advocate and nobody should be able to bully you in this life because nobody is going to treat you horribly without your permission. Your permission and your reaction to bullying is going to determine if you're going to continuously in your life be susceptible to the concepts of bullying in your everyday, day-to-day -day life. I hope that with this little point of mine, you're going to stand up for yourself and know that no man... Woman, child, girl, boy, uncle, auntie, or transgender has the right to treat you in any way disrespectfully. You are a respectful, respectable human, and you must be treated as such. Jemaine Bebe Ngoi, thank you so much for 10 super thanks. I appreciate you. Love you. There's a massive support from London right now going on on my live videos, and I'm getting more London fans more london engagement and i just want to say i love you guys most of my super things are usually in pounds so thank you i love you so much hey and i like it when the pounds come in because when it turns to dollars it's more you know what i mean was 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 hey just touch down in london town thank you london i love you uk people i love you Cora, I love you so much i love you guys so much um <laughs> oh my gosh your ex is releasing text messages of him after divorce that one is gone it's a lost cause you just have to pray for pray for eh, pray for them pray for him it's just a lost cause if you like you should bring out book Whatever he wants to use to attach his leg to my to my life <laughs> so that he will not go down. He's using it so that he won't go down. But we're not in any way associated again. There's been a separation. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. So all the things he's still using to attach himself to my brand is a shame because it's been two years, almost three years. I don't want to hear anything about him on my page because once you just mention it, you are blocked. That's it. He is blocked. I don't even see anything he does. But every time you guys will be reporting and reporting what they are doing, is a waste. Don't bring it here. It's been three years. I'm not going to be one of those people that will be talking about my divorce 12 years after. Go forbid. Go forbid it. I've moved on, please. Sophie Wood, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for 199. Super thanks. Sammy Reed, thank you for 50 stars. Be your own advocate. Nobody's going to advocate for you. Nobody sent you like that. Nobody give a damn about you like that, baby. You need to be your own advocate or else. Be your own advocate or else. I'm just letting you know. Nobody cares like that, okay? No, nobody loves you like that. <laughs> Who is this one? <laughs> hmm. 
Jacqueline Sonson, thank you for four ninety nine super thanks. Jacqueline Sonson says, Cora, I was following you on Facebook. I think I was blocked for no reason. Honey, thank you for four ninety nine super thanks. My moderator will never block you for no reason. If you were blocked, it's for multiple reasons. So please think back to whatever you might have done to have been blocked. And please don't repeat it on YouTube. Thank you. Appreciate you for the four ninety nine super thanks. <laughs> Nobody will need to tell Mother Martina to be her own advocate. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> She is her own advocate, for real, for real. I'm even learning from her. Makeup do you justice. Tell me how many people you know can come live like this. Tell me. How many? How many public figures you know can come live like this? I literally just woke up like this. There's not one single product on my face. My hair is in its natural state. Tell me one person. I'm waiting. You can try and make, make me feel bad, but there's nothing you can make me feel bad about my looks. That one, I know God bless me. So just leave me in that department. Bring it, let me see. All my games are still gone. It says they all said I need to pay for them. Let me see. Be your own advocate. They give me games every time. Don't buy any games, though. I don't want to buy any. Okay. That's what I did. But the only way I can, I can be use my games it it when i need to sweep it up take me on a trip i like to go someday take me to the sun day okay singer come through the singing voice Hmm? Look at all the games you are downloading on this iPad. No, don't come inside my live. Oh. You know you are not supposed to be in the live. No more downloading games. Play the ones you have, okay? I'm playing the ones you already have, but it always downloads the game. I'm playing the old games. Watch YouTube. No, I don't like YouTube. Eh, when did you stop liking YouTube? Um, at night time. June, fly away from this live video. Fly away. Go down, go down where you're going now. Queen Jenny, thank you so much for the ring. Appreciate you. Moi can't... Kenya, thank you so much for the um, TikTok gone. I appreciate you. Kindly follow my top star senders. My top star senders, my top super thinkers should be on your top list. You have to go show them some love. That's the fastest way to show them appreciation. Show them some love. My top gift has them. Ketolo says, hi, Cora. My mama loved you so much, but she passed last year. I just wanted to tell you that. And you look pretty. She passed to go on the other side so she can make room for you, my queen. 
She went there to prepare your food, to prepare your bath, so that when you transcend, when you pass to, you'll be fresh. That's what mothers do. They always take care of their babies, okay? I love you. And I love her, and I know she's still watching over you. She's even looking at you and telling you to stop pressing your phone every minute. <laughs> Much love, my queen. Sending you love from Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii. Guys, I'm going to Hawaii. I want to go to Hawaii. I've been there before. I want to go again. I want to go to Hawaii, yo. I want to go to Hawaii. There was a, there was a feeling I had. About two years ago when I wanted to experience everything. There was a feeling I had, like I want to experience everything that there is to experience in America. And so I went to Hawaii. I did the snorkeling and saw the turtles and the sharks. I didn't see any shark, only, one, only a few turtles. And the turtle was swimming towards me and I was scared. And the instructor said, don't worry, don't worry. They're friendly, they're very old. This one is, she was saying this one is about 200 years old. Something crazy like that, I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe let me, let me not say what I don't know. But they get really old. Sandra, thank you so much for the TikTok gun. Follow my top star senders. Follow my top gifters. Follow my top lovers. By the way, I'm about to go. Bef if you miss me, go and listen to my new song, Outsider. It's fire. It's about me being an outsider, my culture. I am an outsider. I'm the one who is a mother that still wears shorts. I'm the outsider. I'm an outsider. Mm? And to be honest, I don't send your papa if you know the outsider because I'm an outsider. Me and my girls know I'm an outsider and I love it. Go check out my new song, it's titled Outsider by Cora Obidi. I love you. It's everywhere you stream your music except the free places and the places that want artists to be singing on the beach and begging for $10. $10. Those are not the places you will find my music. The only place you find my music is where they compensate artists. If you're asking me for where is your audio max, I will slap you. I will slap you, eh? You go and download Spotify. I will slap you. At least Spotify, they are giving 0 0.000. Audio max, what are they giving? They are not giving Shingwai. You can never find my music there. You will never see it. Nonsense. And if you download it for free, you will not find Ogi. Ogi. Adi. <laughs> hey, the pro kid says, I've spent my whole life in America. I came here as a refugee. I've gotten bored. I want to go back to Ethiopia. I want to see what my mom was talking about. I want to smell Africa. My soul misses home. Oh, my king. Why don't you just go? I, I was checking Ethiopian flights the other day. It's like $800 to go back to Ethiopia. Go now. A star. Yeah. Oh, I got a star. Lynette, student of the gospel. Thank you so much for 200 stars. Stream my song outside. I love you. Much love. Kiribo.